Hello and welcome to the demo of the Faster Forge app developed by me, Apocalypse GU. I'll be doing a quick walkthrough of the UI, current features and use cases, and some limitations. To start out, I've done a little bit of prep work and collected my refresh token from the official GU client so I can authenticate within the uh, Faster Forge app. Uh, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, uh, check out my setup video. It kind of goes through that, um, and uh, that'll help you get set up better than this video will. So. Um, once we've got all this stuff entered, uh, I'm going to go ahead and thoroughly read uh, and accept the user acknowledgement, um, which I highly recommend folks do. Kind of goes into some more details, risks, um, and all that fun stuff. So uh, would recommend you all do that. Uh, have to accept. Uh, if you don't accept, you can't continue. And once I'm accepted, I will go ahead and submit all this information and make sure that the app is authenticated. So as we can see here, auth status is true, and this unlocks the Forge Plus and crafting tabs. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with the Forge Plus tab and forge a few cards. The process is pretty simple. Uh, you select your wallet and uh, the quality to which you would like to forge. And then once loading is complete, navigate and select the card that you'd like to forge. Uh, for meteorite and shadow cards, we can additionally select the quantity to forge and then simply click Forge Selected. Um, so uh, the wallet selected is your default wallet uh, automatically, so you don't necessarily have to select that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and select a, a meteorite card. Um, and so it does take a little bit of time to download and process all that information. Um, so kind of sit tight while it's thinking, um, but things will show up uh, once everything has uh, kind of caught up. So as you can see here, we've got all of the cards that are eligible to be forged uh, from plane to meteorite per our selection. And uh, they are sorted uh, by the amount that we can forge. So um, opalized roots is one of the ones that I can forge the most. I can forge 15, um, but you can see, you know, I have quite a few here that I can do stuff with. So uh, let us, for example, forge some blade flies. So we'll select blade fly. This is the drop down for the quantity, um, which you need to select. Uh, we'll do two for the sake of uh, demonstration. And then we click for selected. So once that happens, uh, there's a little bit more processing that happens and we will kick into the browser and it will load the two transactions for the two uh, blade flies that we'd like to forge. So um, we go ahead and uh, sign these transactions. and continue onwards. And we are all set on that front. Um, yeah, so the app doesn't have wallet signing capabilities. Uh, it doesn't sign anything for you automatically. It doesn't even uh, ask. You don't have to connect your app to the, uh, to the uh, you don't have to connect your wallet to the app at all. So um, no, no worries there. Uh, it's basically just generating some uh, forge transactions as the uh, official GU uh, launcher would. So uh, let's go through again and do something different. We'll check out the shadow uh, cars that I can forge. And again, this pause and not change is just the uh, processing that I do in the background. So again, sorted by the quantity that I can forge to. So we'll do, oh uh, goodness, um, let's do Glade Runner. And since this is shadows and requires five meteorites, let's just do a single one for the sake of, well, uh, yeah, let's do, let's do a single one. The purpose of this is, you know, obviously if I click four, it'll generate four, but, um, I, I don't quite want to do that for the, the demonstration purposes. So um, we'll just do the one, but same process again, you know, once I've selected my uh, quantity that I try to forge, I hit for selected, a little bit more processing. Uh, and then the uh, URL is prepared and you kick to browser, confirm that I want to forge this into shadow and sign with my wallet. And we're good to go. And that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the uh, the forge. Obviously, we can go uh, higher to golds and uh, diamond cards. Um, so 
the uh, the one caveat here being that uh, you know if I select something that I don't have the um, the previous level shines for, uh, what the app does is it calculates the necessary um, shines of of what you do have, of what you can make. So for example, if I don't have five gold uh, Vanguard Axewoman, um, what it'll do is it'll find the next forge necessary to do uh, in order to get me a diamond. So if that's, you know, creating the uh, 25 shadow copies of Vanguard Axewoman, um, it'll generate the forge request for the 25 shadow. And then you'll need to do it again to continue moving up uh, in quality. Um, if it already has, if I already have five gold axe women in my inventory, then it'll simply uh, generate the single request uh, to get those five gold into the one diamond uh, Vanguard axe women. So um, not quite a one click solution, but I think just the fact that it combines those clicks into one process and you can sign them back to back to back uh, saves quite a bit of time. So um, I think you know a net positive overall. So that was kind of a, a decent walkthrough of the the forging uh, forging process. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at crafting. Simply select the recipe that you would like to craft, or basically what card you'd like to receive as a result of your uh, craft. Uh, let's do Germonte for example. Um, We'll see the various recipes and the various ways that we can acquire Germanta here um, addi with additional information like, you know, how many of the specific uh, card we need, how many we actually have, and, you know, how many we can make. So um, I think in this situation, I'm just going to go ahead and do a uh, Shadow Elder Strix or uh, craft basically a um, meteorite copy of uh, Germonte. So we simply click craft. And as we can see, the necessary forge transaction is generated. And just like the uh, forging, we'll handle the uh, wallet transaction components of the process uh, in browser uh, like we would normally. So um, after this, you know, our forge is complete. So in about uh, you know 24 hours or so, or whatever, uh, GU is able to distribute the crafting rewards. You'll receive a meteorite Germonte or whatever else that you decided to craft. Um, and uh, that about covers it, I think. So the link to my GitHub where you can download this from is in the description for this video. Uh, it's also available on my Twitter at the Apocalypse GU. And uh, I look forward to hearing everyone's comments and feedback. Thank you for watching and uh, keep up to date with further developments uh, by following me on Twitter, like I said, at the Apocalypse GU. Thanks again, folks. Happy foraging.